King Larry Swings In is the 11th episode of the second season of Disney's House of Mouse. And I was kind of interested to see what they were going to do with this one as I didn't really know what to expect. But with this episode, King Louie, Jungle Book's King Louie, um, has a, a brother called King Larry. We will ignore the fact that Larry wouldn't actually be king as well, but nevertheless, his twin brother Larry comes to visit, and I like how he is animated because they do look similar but different, and I think they've they've done a good job with making them look like twins but individual. And Larry is certainly individual compared to King Louis. Um, he's got a very different attitude. He well, in some ways he does. In some ways they are very much alike. But I feel like King Larry has a different attitude towards other people. He doesn't necessarily speak to people in the best way, and he just wants to be like Mickey Mouse as well, which gives us a brilliant version of the song I Wanna Be Like You. Um, I'm really pleased they put that in there. I won't say too much about what the changes are or what happens with the song, but I thought it was very effective and I really liked that. Um, interestingly, as, just as aside from King Larry, Horace Horsecollar speaks quite a lot in this. He's not usually in it very much, so to actually give him a much more active speaking role was really refreshing. I feel like he's definitely an underrated character. Um, he's very interesting and I'd love to know more about him, but it was great for him to have a chance to speak more. Um, same with the vultures. The vultures appeared. I always like it when we get other Disney characters that have a much more prominent role in House of Mouse rather than the Sensational Six. So in general, I thought it was a really good episode with a lot going for it. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was hoping it would be good. And I'm pleased to say that it was, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously, there are several different cartoons in this one as well. Uh, interestingly, the first one is actually a much older animation. Mickey and the Seal, which was released in 1948. They don't include older cartoons that frequently. This was a peculiar one for them to include, to be perfect on perfectly honest. Um, the main theme of King Larry Swings In is obviously manners and respect for other people. One of these animations fits in there, kind of. The other two, not so much. Mickey and the Seal, not so much. But it is a nice animation. The second is Goofy's Extreme Sports Paracycling, um, which is very brief. It felt very short, but it was, you know, interesting enough. And the third one is a Goofy How-To, How to Be a Gentleman. And I'll talk more about that in detail in a separate discussion. Um, but I enjoyed that one. And that one, I guess, kind of fits in because it's about how you present yourself in society. Not so much about manners, but it works enough. So the cartoons felt a bit disconnected compared to what they usually do. But, you know, in isolation, they're still enjoyable. King Larry Swings In was one that I was very curious about. And I have to say, having now seen it, I rather enjoyed it. 